heavy hearts this morning at the FDNY after a firefighter was killed while responding to a fire in Brooklyn yesterday. A big three alarm fire. 31 year old Timothy Klein, a six year vet of the department, was fatally injured when the second floor of that Canarsie home that he was responding to collapsed onto him. Another person was also discovered dead at the scene. Firefighters lined the streets as his body was transported to the medical examiner's office. We have team coverage of this tragedy, beginning with Derek Waller, live at the scene in Canarsie. Good morning, Derek. Ken, good morning, and I can tell you that today there are plans to tear down this home that's located just down the block here on Avenue and where you see all this firefighter activity uh, remaining this morning. Now, how that fire started remains a mystery, but we do know that it killed two people, including 31-year-old FDNY firefighter Timothy Klein, who was trapped after a ceiling collapsed on top of him. The flames broke out around 1.40 in the afternoon on Sunday. The remains of that second person have not yet been identified but a 21 year old man with autism who lived at the home remains unaccounted for. Klein was taken to Brookdale University Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Other firefighters just barely escaped. The incident commander identified deteriorating conditions and ordered all members out of the building. As they were doing so, there was a partial collapse of the ceiling. I cannot describe the heartbreak of the FDNY today to have lost a member doing what our members do best, putting their lives on the line to save others. Now, eight other firefighters actually sustained injuries in this fire, but thankfully for them, they, those injuries are described as not life-threatening.